Micro and Nano Manufacturing ME 474 Module 2 Micro Extrusion Micro and Nano Manufacturing ME 474 Module 2 Part 3 Presented by Jithu C. John Assistant Professor Department of Mechanical Engineering Government Engineering College, Kojikode Micro Extrusion Microforming defined as the production of parts or structures with at least two dimensions in the submillimeter range. Micro extrusion is a microforming extrusion process performed at the submillimeter range. In micro extrusion, the cross section of the product can be enclosed in a square of side 1 mm. Micro extrusion is classified as either forward or backward extrusion process. In forward extrusion, ram and billet move in the same direction. In backward extrusion, ram and billet move in the opposite direction. Products cross section can fit through a 1 mm square. The greatest challenges of creating a successful micro extrusion machine is the manufacture of the die and ram. Forward extrusion, where metal is forced to flow in the same direction as the ram being used to apply pressure. Backward extrusion is the opposite of forward extrusion and is where metal is forced to flow in the opposite direction to the ram. Size effects into three categories, density, shape, and microstructure size effects. As the density increases probability of existence of defects, such as cracks, decreases with decreasing size, the strength increases. The reduction in the size of an object, the ratio between the total surface area and volume increases, a reduction in flow stress. The flow stress of the material increases with decreasing grain size. Higher friction was observed with work pieces of smaller grain size. Inhomogeneous deformation was observed with work pieces of larger grain size. Grain size plays an important role in the quality of the final product. Lubrication has more profound effect on the extrusion of products with higher surface area. The effect of punch velocity was found to be insignificant. If the billet size is many times more than the extruded product size, extrusion load will be high. Fabrication of small sized billets is not easy. One way to sort out this problem is to carry out multi-hole extrusion. Extrusion through a die having more than one opening is known as multi-hole extrusion. In this process, several products are manufactured simultaneously. The overall extrusion ratio is low. Hence, the load requirement is low. The overall time for production is reduced. The figure shows forward rod backward cup extrusion and its effect on microstructure. SEM image of a forward extruded micro gear shaft with gear module 50 micrometer and 10 number of teeth. Schematic illustration of micro billet formation by sheet extrusion. Micro billet formation by extruding the sheet. A billet of 1 mm diameter was successfully formed from the aluminum sheet of 2 mm thickness. The billet remains attached to the sheet surface. This billet can be cut or can remain. The die diameter is 1 mm, while the punch diameter D is 2 mm. For lubrication, graphite in tallow, hard animal fat, is used. Manufacturing of micro gear shaft. A backward extrusion process was used for this. Heating the die and billet before the process gets started. Piezoelectric actuators were employed as punch drivers. A micro gear shaft of amorphous alloy with gear dimension of 10 m module and 100 m pitch diameter. They also extruded aluminium 78 Zn, a super plastic alloy, and produced gears of 20 m module and 200 m pitch diameter. Fabrication of dies and rams for micro extrusion. Micro dies, containers, punches, and actuators are the major parts designed and fabricated for the micro extrusion process. Photochemically machinable glass to fabricate micro dies for the production of micro gears. 
Die cavities of submillimeter size were made by microelectro discharge machining, EDM. The extrusion die was made as a segmented block in order to facilitate the removal of the micro pins after extrusion. The larger dies were made by drilling, and the smaller dies were made by the micro EDM process. All the dies were polished to ensure similar roughness values. Wire cut EDM with wires of 10m diameter allows the production of very narrow extrusion dies. The punches slash rams can be made by grinding. Structures with a size of 10m can be produced by laser ablation. Electron beam lithography makes it possible to create structures as small as 200 nm in width. Related image. Figure illustrates the working of hot melt extrusion process. Hot melt extrusion, HME, is the processing of polymeric materials above their glass transition temperature in order to affect molecular level mixing of thermoplastic binders and slash or polymers and active compounds. Used in several industries, HME is a combination of melting and mechanical energy to improve continuous processing for reproducible analysis of materials, dust reduction, and online monitoring. Limitations and challenges of micro-extrusion processes Manufacturing and assembly of small components is difficult. Clearance or backlash between machine parts, which may be tolerable in a conventional extrusion machine, plays a significant role in a micro-extrusion machine. Handling raw material and extruded parts is difficult because of less grip on the surface area. Micro-extrusion requires precise manufacturing processes to produce smaller dies and punch slash ram. There is a need to develop adequate measuring technology suitable for measuring small components. Application Microbillet formation by extruding the sheet Manufacturing of micropins using segmented dies Manufacturing of microgear shaft, a backward extrusion process Fabrication of microcondenser tubes for the application of eco-friendly refrigerants with higher working pressure. Microextrusion of bulk metallic glass, BMG is a class of metal alloys having an amorphous structure which gives better strength, corrosion, and wear properties. Microbending with laser. A relatively recent application of laser is in metal forming. It classified into two parts laser assisted forming and laser forming in laser assisted forming the parts to be formed are heated by a beam of laser while the actual forming is done by conventional tools laser assisted forming laser light is used to increase the temperature of the material during forming this increases the formability in the required area of the part as material softening is done locally a major portion of the sheet remains unaffected Use of transparent tools such as sapphire guides the laser radiation directly onto the workpiece through the closed tool. A pre-shaped metal sheet is placed over a die with a V-shaped slot in it. A conical sapphire tool is used to achieve the required bend angle. Initially, thermal energy is applied on the metal sheet using the laser beam. Then the transparent sapphire tool is plunged inside the die along with the metal sheet to bend it to the required angle. Laser continuously heats the worksheet during the process of mechanical bending. Figure shows a schematic diagram of the laser assisted micro bending method. A press haped metal sheet is placed over a die with a V shaped slot in it. Laser micro bending. Laser forming. LF, is a process that forms the sheet metal by means of stresses induced by external heat instead of external force. Materials with high thermal expansion coefficients such as stainless steels and light alloys of aluminum, magnesium, and titanium. Deformation is induced in a controlled manner by tracking the laser beam across one surface of the sheet metal. This is a novel way of bending a metal sheet without the use of a die or additional loading. LF without the use of any mechanical tool appears to be a more suitable method of micro bending. It's high flexibility and ability to focus on a spot of a few microns. It is difficult to give a very small bending angle using mechanical method because the spring back angle is much greater than the resulting permanent angle. 
the sheet is bent by the thermal stress induced by laser irradiation. Controlled radiation of laser on the designed locations. Material is formed because of the local plastic strains induced by laser heating. Force the material to expand non-uniformly, resulting in irregular thermal expansion between the top and bottom surfaces. The specimen initially bends negatively, as viewed from the laser beam. The non-uniform expansion of the material leads to non-uniform thermal stresses, which results in plastic deformation at locations where thermal stresses exceed the material's yield point. During cooling, the upper material layers shrink more than the lower ones, resulting in permanent specimen bending toward the laser beam. The most important parameters are the 1. Laser scanning path 2. The heating conditions including the laser power and type 3. The scanning velocity 4. The material thermal parameters, emissivity and conductivity 5. The material coefficient of thermal expansion Figure shows a schematic diagram of a straight line irradiation process that produces a bend angle from a flat sheet metal piece. The localized nature of laser irradiation yields high temperature gradients between the irradiated surface and the neighboring material that force the material to expand non-uniformly, resulting in irregular thermal expansion between the top and bottom surfaces. Advantages over traditional metal forming It requires no tools or external forces in the process. Work material degradation is less because of the production of a small heat affected zone, has, by a focused heat source of the laser. The process can be conveniently and accurately controlled by adjusting laser power and laser beam diameter scanning speed of the laser beam. For it can be used to produce complex three-dimensionally formed components by straight and curved scan lines. 5. It offers excellent reproducibility less manufacturing time and cost, as well as relatively low thermal influence on the mechanical properties of a metal. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel for more lecture videos. Until next time. Adios.